You need to move forward. There's always those people that, you know, they don't want change. They want, they want the past. It's about doing new things, new things that maybe not everybody is um, agreeing with today. I mean, you know, go back to the peak to peak. In this business, if you're not moving forward, you're probably falling behind. When you look at very long term, it's clearly, you know, climate change is an issue, weather becoming more volatile, making sure that you have snow for people to ski on. So, and that's a long term, clearly challenge, not only for, for us, but if we're in trouble, quite frankly, the world's in trouble. So it's, you know, we're a bit of the canary in the coal mine. But I think what's, what's more relevant in front of us is creating new skiers and snowboarders. And you actually dig into the, to the ski industry in North America, it's actually very, very small. It's really important, and, and, and we know it as an industry, that ultimately, you know, we, we work together, we support each other in a, in a lot of ways in terms of, you know, whether it's management practices, whether it's marketing initiatives, whether it's, quite frankly, direct support, in particular to the smaller ski areas. Those ski areas generate new skiers, and, and, and that is, you know, one of our challenges. And so we need to support each other. If we can, you know, help everybody get better, hopefully we can raise that tide and ultimately raise the number of people that that want to ski and snowboard. When you look at our population base and you know the baby boomers getting old, who are these millennials? How do we get them engaged in the sport? You know, where is the growth coming from? Are they traditional Canadians that grow up in the snow? Or is there, you know, there's a whole bunch of new people coming and living in North America? And how do we get those folks engaged in the in the sport? Kids today, I mean, it's electronics. From video games on their phone to Snapchat to, you know, you name it, they're all over it. I mean, they got they got things going on. And, you know, when I look at their life and their, like, their attention spans and, and everything, it's a, there's a lot of things that we're competing with. You know, it's not just, you know, competing with hockey and soccer, it's competing with a whole array of things. And, and things that we don't even know that are coming down the pipe now that they're actually gonna invent and create. But hopefully, you know, we have people thinking about our industry and how we engage our guests in that manner in a broader way. And whether it's GPS systems or Whistler Blackcomb Plus that we did this year and, you know, tracking vertical and people on leaderboards and getting a whole discussion about skiing and snowboarding uh, well into the evening because, you know, now they can talk about it, they have stats about it. There's this whole dichotomy of being jam-packed and busyness and stuff and, and luxury to wide open space. You kind of go outside the ski boundaries and you really start to ultimately see that and that's been a growing trend for many years now. You know, that will continue to grow. For us to be successful, the community has to be successful, and I think, you know, vice versa. So there's actually a, a, a plan or a commitment that 75% of the people that work in this community live in this community. People that work here have an emotional attachment, have a vested interest, and I think that goes a long way, not only in terms of, you know, what you want to deliver every day, but also in terms of the interactions, ultimately, that you're having with the guests. You know, a lot of times when you're trying to figure things out or things are busy and you're just trying to get perspective, I mean, you get your ski boots on and you get your skis and you head up the lift. You know, the different ideas, issues, thoughts, it just all of a sudden opens up on Whistler and quite frankly on the whole, on the whole sense of, you know, why we're here. I think we've shown a track record, you know, and, and I think that is what really is important when people step back and, and look at what we've done. You know, you gotta go, you know what? You've done a lot of the right things. Not everything's perfect. We're gonna make mistakes as, as everybody does, but 
You don't hit the home run if you don't swing the bat. You know, and that's kind of what we're all about. <laughs> <laughs>